small spots, like in tight little corners and stuff like that. Um, so a six foot cast net is usually what I bring on a kayak. Uh, a 10 foot is just too big to bring on the kayak, it's too much weight. So I like to bring a six footer and it's a six footer and a six footer is also easier to throw. So um, basically, again, what I use, another place I would use a six foot cast net is uh, in shallower water. In deeper water, always use a bigger cast net because with a six foot cast net, it's not gonna open wide enough to get, to really get a bunch of bait. So today I'm gonna show you how to throw a six foot cast net. So what I like to do with, six foot, with a six foot cast net, it's pretty easy to, handle Wait for the car to pass by. so basically how I throw a six foot cast net okay first thing if you've never really thrown a cast net if you're just getting into this just put it around put the front put the end of the rope around your waist like that usually uh, some cast nets will have this to put around your waist coil it up in your hand pretty pretty easy stuff so what I like to do with the six foot cast net, since I'm what I'm, I'm about five seven, about five foot seven, and a six foot cast net is you know not that taller than me, so I like to hold up to around my chest. I like to grab the uh, net around here, around my chest, and then what I do, then what I do, I grab the rope right here, and I put this over my shoulder over my arm like that and then I grab I go down an arm's length and then I put this in my thumb you could either do that or put it in your uh, mouth uh, I don't like to put it in my mouth because I don't want to get the bacteria and stuff getting in my mouth so yep that's that and then I go down another arm's length and I hold out like that so basically what this does it opens the net uh, before you even throw it so should be pretty easy to throw so what I like to do when I'm about to throw it, I like to just do a 360 and throw. And that should get the net open pretty much every time. So I'm gonna do that real quick. So I'm just gonna demonstrate for you. And as you see that opened up pretty much all the way, pretty much pancaked. Uh, in the grass it bounces so of course it's not going to turn out perfect but in the water usually almost 100% of the time when I throw it in the water it's perfect so even if you're short even if you're like 5'7 like me or even less than that it's pretty easy to throw a cast net this small you know, six foot is like rookie numbers, So, but it's really convenient if you're trying to get into a small spot where a bunch of bait is uh, schooled up. And, um, you know, 10 foot cast net is just going to be too big. So, I'm just going to demonstrate again for you. And just to show you how easy this is, I'm just going to throw it again because it is pretty easy. As you can see, pretty much perfect. Pretty much perfect circle. Whatever bait is there, pretty much get all of it. If you can't spin for whatever reason, just do the same procedure except hold, except grab the net at your waist. And just do the normal thing. And then, again, if you can't spin, all you need to do is just rock it back and forth and just throw it. And that's still pretty good. You know, it still got open. And the thing of... So, pretty much perfect circles either way. So I'm going to demonstrate one more time just to show you how easy it is. So again, if you don't, if you don't want to spin... That's also something to keep in mind. If you really don't feel like spinning, you know, because it kind of gets dizzy if you do it over and over again. So this is also a good method. Boom.
it's not as good as when I spin, but you know, whatever bait is there is still gonna get a bunch. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, that's how you throw a six foot cast net. So uh, other than that, hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you guys later.